Yo, what up? About time we wrapped up the uh, world's longest Zelda hat competition finally and get these results out to the world. Today we're recognizing the top five hacks. Starting with number five, the Legend of Mario Star Sealed Castle. This hack by Wise Guy allows Mario to swap back and forth between regular sized Mario and tiny idiot Mario in order to collect super blocks in the hope of lowering the castle shields and defeating Bowser. The level design was just really sick and it had a ton of unique mechanics and I loved it. Shout outs to Mr. Wise Guy. Number four goes to a terrible fate. This Majora's Mask inspired hack by Isaac22 featured a ton of custom models and animations. It looks sick. The story is basically a lead into Majora's Mask with the whole happy mask thing and going on a journey to quiet the voices in one's head. It even has me in it. Yeah, I'm pretty much looking like a hunk. Number three, the hold a high roll. This hack was by Cheesepin and Hero Techni, featuring a ton of power-ups were created directly from Ocarina of Time, as well as super unique cutscenes and voice acting. Looks like you took quite the fall. Which is insane if you think about it, because this guy sounds exactly like Vic, and I, I it's just it keeps driving me crazy. It sounds just like him. Uh, number two, and personally, this is this was my personal favorite for a lot of different reasons. On a boat, sixty-four. Wind Waker inspired hack by Elerix. You play as Green Mario, you wash up ashore on an island, and you gotta figure everything out. And it all leads back into each other. It's just so sick. There's so many good things about it. It's my personal favorite, this competition. And it being second place is no surprise to me. Number one is Fallen Kingdom by Falco Buster. And this hack? It's a Falco Buster hack. It has everything. It's got the wall running. It's got the bosses. It has the sick atmospheres. Sometimes you feel a little scared when you play it. Yeah. It has really good writing, a really good story, and it also has this rapid river thing. That's this thing. It was honestly really challenging and just really fun, and I'd recommend it to anybody. Congratulations to all the winners, and thank you to everyone who participated. Now, I do want to do more competitions in the future, but I cannot invite that stress into my life as I am currently putting my time into the project. And after I'm done with the project, then I'd like to have like more full moral structure with the whole competitions. And I just think it'll be better when I can devote my full time to it because this shouldn't have taken this many months and that's no one's fault but my own. So I'm hoping to not have so much on my plate before I announce the next competition. Do be looking out in the future though because I'm gonna run some categories by you guys and like the most popular voted ones will probably decide what the competition theme will be. But you know, it's probably not gonna happen until maybe 2021. If nothing else, feel free to download any of the hacks in the description and play them. It's a ton of fun and thank you guys for being part of the competition.